Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Shawnee Mission North High School. On behalf of the administration and staff, I would like to thank you for joining us for the commencement ceremony of the class of 2017. At this time, will you please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Our national anthem will be performed by the Shawnee Mission North Choirs under the direction of Julie O'Mealy Simmons and the Shawnee Mission North Band under the direction of Chad Reed. Please be seated. Now the Shawnee Mission North Choirs will perform We Are All In This Together by Gerard and Neville featuring our senior choir members. Thank you to our NJROTC cadets under the leadership of Chief Warrant Officer Dennis Grayless and Senior Chief Greg Ruminer for their presentation of the flag. I'm Dave Tappan, and it is my honor and privilege to be the principal here at Shawnee Mission North High School. Tonight, we celebrate the 95th graduating class of the original Shawnee Mission High School. This graduation ceremony is our formal way to demonstrate our pride and admiration for each student in the class of 2017. The planning of this ceremony started last fall and has taken a tremendous amount of time, commitment, and organization by Associate Principal Annette Gonzalez, English language arts teacher Aaron Wright, and a group of dedicated seniors. The graduation committee selected this year's distinguished alumni speaker, designed the graduation announcements, and participated in the process to determine this year's senior oration speaker. Will the senior graduation committee members please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you for a job well done. At this time, I would like to introduce our special guests on the stage this evening. Please stand when I read your name, and audience, I ask that you please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. We will begin with our dedicated Board of Education members. Sarah Goodburn, Board of Education President and North Area Member. Patty Mack, Northwest Area Member. And Cindy Neighbor, At-Large Board of Education Member. Also on the stage this evening is the administration from the North Area Schools. Along with their teachers and staff, these dedicated professionals work day in and day out to create a culture of learning throughout the North community. Kevin Frick, Blue Jacket Flint. John Bartell, Crestview. Felicia Netalicki, East Antioch. Sho Druin, Marion Park. Stan Anderson, Neiman. Amy Simeonov, Rushton. Crystal Liker, Santa Fe Trail. Ben Pretz, Hawker Grove Middle School. And also the Shawnee Mission North Administrative Team, David Ewers, Kent Glazier, Annette Gonzalez, and Brock Winsaker. We are also extremely excited to have our distinguished alum, 1995 graduate, Mr. Billy Brimblecom Jr. with us this evening. Thank you, 
Please be seated. Now I would like to introduce this year's class president, Harrison Bolt, who will deliver the welcome from the class of 2017. Harrison is the son of Beth Bolt and John Bolt. Harrison has been involved in the marching band and symphonic band throughout high school. In addition, he has been the cross country manager, a member of the National Honor Society, and the swim and dive team captain. Harrison is also an Eagle Scout and was a member of the 2016 State Track Championship Team and the 2016 NJROTC National Championship Team. Next year, Harrison will be attending the United States Naval Academy. Please welcome Harrison Bolt. Thank you, Mr. Tappan. My fellow Americans, on the behalf of the class of the 2017, we would like to welcome and thank you all for joining us on this honorable evening. I am very humbled to have had the opportunity to be your senior class president. I would like to thank all the student council representatives and officers. They have all put in a lot of hard work over this year and were a huge help in making it a success. I would like to especially thank my vice president, Spencer Dubois, who's not able to be here tonight because he's fulfilling his obligation to the United States Marine Corps. This year I've attended more athletic, fine arts, and club events than I ever have before. And from this, I have learned one thing, that there is a heck of a lot of talent in the class of 2017. Because of the skills that this class has, I am 100% sure in our ability to achieve and accomplish whatever we wish to, as long as we are relentless in the pursuit of our goals. Teachers and administration, thank you. Parents, your children are phenomenal. My peers and friends, this is the last time we are all here together, so savor the moment, go out and celebrate afterwards, and never forget the valuable lessons learned here at Shawnee Mission North. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. God bless you all, God bless Shawnee Mission North, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Harrison. One of the significant factors that contribute to the success here at Shawnee Mission North is the level of achievement attained by our student body. We are very fortunate that many of our students challenge themselves to their highest potential and they have earned the right to be recognized this evening. A traditional recognition at Shawnee Mission North is to acknowledge our top 10 academic students. This award is earned by the 10 students with the highest cumulative grade point average. They have distinguished themselves among their high achieving driven senior class by accomplishing this honor. We will now recognize these individuals and present them with their top 10 medallion, which signifies their outstanding achievements. I would like to ask Associate Principal Mr. Brock Winsaker and Mrs. Sarah Goodburn, President of the Board of Education, to insist in the presentation of the honor medallions. Aiden Bella Hugh. Aiden will be attending the University of Kansas and will major in biology and health psychology. Bob Collins. Bob will be attending the University of Kansas and will major in chemical engineering with a pre-med focus. Jackson Draculich. Jackson will be attending Oklahoma Baptist University and will major in secondary education. Aaron Grohusky. Aaron will be attending Kansas State University and will major in music education and vocal performance. Ian Grohusky. Ian will be attending the University of Minnesota and will major in mechanical engineering. Magdalene Hendricks. Magdalene will attend UMKC this fall and major in music education. Taya McCorkle. Taya will be attending Johnson County Community College in the fall and will major in biotechnology. Wow. 
Derek Moots. Derek will be attending UMKC and will major in secondary education. Uloma Obi. Aloma will be attending the University of Iowa and major in biomedical sciences. <laughs> Alyssa Vele. Alyssa will be attending the University of Kansas and will major in political science. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these scholars. Shawnee Mission North has been an international baccalaureate world school since 2012. IB is a rigorous college level curriculum that is recognized by colleges and universities worldwide. North is one of only eight IB authorized high schools in the state of Kansas. At this time, IB coordinator John Durham will read the names of the IB diploma candidates. Fellow IB instructor Julie Taylor will present each recipient with their IB diploma medallion. Jasmine Birch, daughter of Donald and Yvonne Birch. Jasmine will be attending Johnson County Community College. Emma Hoffman, daughter of Ralph and Shelley Hoffman. Emma will be attending Iowa State University, majoring in chemical engineering. Trinity Ingram, daughter of Kelly and Chad Ingram. Trinity will be attending Pittsburgh State University, majoring in Spanish and psychology. Derek Van Tholenar, son of Jeff and Sharon Van Tholenar. Derek will be attending DePaul University, majoring in political science. Hannah Whitney, daughter of Mike and Carrie Whitney. Hannah will be attending Pittsburgh State University, majoring in chemistry. All of our seniors that have been IB participants can be distinguished this evening by their blue and white cords. IB participants, please stand and be recognized. Eight members of the class, by virtue of their excellent performance on the ACT test and completion of the Kansas Scholars Curriculum, have been named Kansas State Scholars by the Kansas Board of Regents. At this time, will these eight scholars please stand and be recognized. Sixty-three of our students were Kansas State Scholars Curriculum Completers. These scholars can be identified by their maize and brown cords. Will these scholars please stand and be recognized at this time? Three of our students scored 32 or above on the ACT and received the designation of Kansas ACT Scholar. Will these scholars please stand and be recognized? Eight of our students earned Advanced Placement Scholar Awards for exceptional achievement on advanced placement exams. Will these eight scholars please stand and be recognized?
26 members of the senior class received the President's Award for Educational Excellence based upon high school grades and standardized test scores. Will these 26 members please stand and be recognized? Thirteen students completed the Medical Health Science Signature Program curriculum this year. These individuals will receive special recognition on their transcripts and can be identified by their green cords. Over the course of the 10-year history of the Medical Health Science Signature Program, we have graduated 222 students. Will the eight Shawnee Mission North students please stand and be recognized at this time? At this time, I would like to recognize our North Scholars. This achievement recognizes students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 or better. This honor is designated by red, silver, and black cords. Will our North Scholars please stand and be recognized at this time? The class of 2017 has not only excelled in the classroom, but also in the area of extracurricular activities. Will those students that have earned all league or all state recognition, were state qualifiers, or will be entering the military, please stand and be recognized at this time. Our seniors will be attending universities and colleges from across the nation and have earned over $3 million in scholarships for their academic, athletic, and activity excellence. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2017. The foundation of an effective school is in its instructional staff, and Shawnee Mission North is fortunate to have an extraordinary faculty. They are seated on either side of each row and are wearing their academic vestments, representing their highest degree. In addition, many of our staff members are assisting us this evening throughout the stadium and in the field house. Shawnee Mission North has 107 certified teachers. 83 of them hold master's degrees, two members have a PhD, and three are nationally board certified. Please join me in recognizing one of our own staff members that is in attendance this evening and will be retiring this year. Rebecca Sandhaus has spent 22 years in the Shawnee Mission School District and 26 years in education. Her commitment to our students and our community will be greatly missed. Please join me in recognizing Mrs. Sandhouse. It is my pleasure to introduce our student speaker for this evening. Mateus Burns is the son of Christy Burns and Mike Burns. Throughout his years at North, Mateus has participated in our video production program Cross Country, the Spanish National Honor Society, and our International Baccalaureate Program. Mateus has also earned the Principal's Honor Roll, an academic letter, and received the North Star Award. Mateus will attend Wichita State University in the fall and double major in aerospace engineering and physics. Mateus' oration is entitled, The Hidden Curriculum. Please welcome Mateus to the stage. Education. School is used to transfer culture from one generation to the next, to pass on a set of values and norms. School nowadays seems to be used for such things as state assessments, games like Octagon, Town of Salem, and Bomb Squad, and dances like the infamous Wigalow. Our culture is something that is unique to North. Our culture is second to none. Our school is where tradition began and excellence continues. We have all heard the spiel, but it is truly the reality of this brick house where there are no cliques and everyone is accepted. Unless, of course, you don't sing the school song at the games. In that respect, I can't help you. School's where you learn, right? But learning isn't always fun. 
but a whole lot of us are here right now because of teachers who don't just teach the curriculum, but add in their own, their own hidden curriculum. We all know the teacher who made us want to focus in, to not leave class to use the restroom, no matter if it was a block day or not, and you were holding it since last hour, but the five minute passing period prohibited dilly-dallying and you were sitting there, wincing in pain, but loving every second of the story they were telling. We all know the teacher who went off on 30 minute tangents, but no. That's not right, because they weren't tangents, they weren't useless, they were invaluable. They gave us a window into the real world, to keep dreaming, to focus on what's important, from traveling to Europe and climbing mountains, to teachers' exciting past careers and life stories. What we learned during our four years was what the rest of our lives should be about, that our futures are not black and white boring, rather, this hidden curriculum that we were taught gave us options goals to shoot for and to work towards. The North experience, as I call it, is priceless. For me and for a lot of you out there, it was finding yourself, and for me, in a different way than you all may think. Some of you may not know this about me, unless you took the amazing class of US Latino literature with Mrs. Madrigal, but I am Latino. Yes, your boy who dressed up in his senior pictures as the main character from Ratatouille, whose hair has been called a variation of some fro for the past six years. Yes, me, my blood is deeply rooted in the jungles of Brazil where my daddy was born, though my skin tells a different story. My story may be unique, but we all have had the opportunity to discover something new about ourselves. They said high school was the place to find yourself, but they never mentioned it would be the teachers that brought it out of you. Whomever that teacher was, whatever it was that you learned, these non-conventional lessons are what make North such a memorable place, and it's why North puts the best into society. North's backgrounds are so diverse, you couldn't walk down the halls without being in the presence of 20 nationalities, seven different languages, 80 hairstyles, and multiple ethnicities. That is what is, makes us so great. We are all a part of something exceptionally special, something that no other school has, an acceptance for one another, no matter what country you're from or what language you speak. North is the home to greatness. It pumps through the veins. It is heard through the cheers and the concerts. It is seen in the games and in the performances. It is what is learned from this hidden curriculum that our teachers give to us. It is a tradition that began here and an excellence that we will take on with us no matter where we go. We will do as we move on into the next stage of our lives as we have the past four years straight. Set new highs, demolish the lows, and continue to push the envelope and show that we are the best graduating class, both in education and in character, Shawnee Mission North has put out yet. As we prepare to leave these doors for the last time, I give you this quote by Theodore Roosevelt. It is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. With that, never stop pushing the envelope, class of 2017. Continue to persevere and take everything the world throws at you. Take chances, that's when the real fun begins. And never forget where we came from, a family with roots that go as deep as the prairie grass that this school was built on. We will make incredible impacts in this world. Just never forget those who taught us what life's really about, making adventures finding your passion, and never settling for a life that is black and white. Congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you, Mateus. Now Jacob Moyer will be singing Corner of the Sky from the musical Pippin by Schwartz. Jacob is the son of Harry Moyer. Throughout his years at North, Jacob has been heavily involved in the band, theater, and choir departments. Jacob was selected to participate in the All-State Choir all three years of his eligibility. This past year, Jacob was the president of the Equality Club. Jacob plans to attend the American Musical and Dramatics Academy in New York City to study music theater.
Thank you, Jacob. Great job. Introducing our distinguished alum is Bryce Conley, senior class treasurer. Bryce is the son of Michael and Amanda Conley. Bryce has participated with the Strolling Strings and the Marching Band. Bryce also participated in theater, football, baseball, and swimming during his four years of high school. Bryce plans on attending Johnson County Community College in the fall. Please welcome Bryce Conley. Billy Brimblecom Jr. is the Executive Director of Steps of Faith Foundation. He is a proud Shawnee Mission North graduate, class of 1995. He went to the University of Kansas on a jazz scholarship, but ultimately left college early to become a touring musician drummer. Billy lost his left leg to Ewing sarcoma in 2005. With his new prothesis, he was back on tour playing drums within just a few months of his surgery. He lost his leg, but beat the cancer. As a freelance musician, he has toured the US, Canada, the UK, and Japan playing music. He has appeared as an actor at the Kennedy Center, off-Broadway, and in film and TV. While his love for music and the arts is strong, his passions to serve other amputees through his nonprofit, Steps of Faith Foundation, is even stronger. He wants every amputee to have mobility no matter how limited their resources are. After seven years in Nashville, Tennessee, Billy recently relocated back to the Kansas City area with his wife, Allison, and two children, Leo and Goldie. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Brimblecom Jr. Good evening. So I've had this recurring dream for years that many of you adults have probably had where you're the age you are now, but you realize in the dream that you're still in high school. And the whole dream, you're trying to figure out like, oh my gosh, I thought I graduated. I'm 40, I, what happened? Oh my gosh. You guys just wait, that dream will happen. That dream will happen. So back in October, I received an email from Ms. Gonzalez that uh, simply said, I would love the opportunity to visit with you via phone when you have the time. So when I saw this email, I immediately felt like I was in trouble. <laughs> the principal was emailing me. And then I thought, oh my gosh, the dream is coming true. I have to go back. And here I am. So uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Gonzalez for that call. And uh, most importantly, I want to thank the class of 2017 and everyone who is responsible for choosing me to be here tonight. I am very humbled, and this is a huge, huge honor uh, for me, so thank you. Because I loved high school. I absolutely loved it here at North. I was so excited. I, I, I wanted so bad to be on the drum line, even in middle school. My band people over there. Uh, I couldn't wait. Uh, I will say, though, in many ways, I was a terrible student unless it was the areas that I really cared about. I loved music. I also loved making people laugh, so that's why I gravitated towards the drama department. Music and theater, that was it for me, other than uh, girls, of course. So I was negligent about almost all other subjects and did as little work as possible in those areas. I'll say, I, of course, do regret that now that I'm an adult, like when I went to write this speech, for instance. This requires, you know, English. Only I could remember how to properly use prepositions. I'd have had this thing written in October. Quick story about that. I got to know uh, Becky Tate, the awesome journalism teacher here at North. Yes, Becky Tate. Through uh, a girl I was dating at the time who was the editor of the yearbook my senior year. I wasn't even a journalism student, but Becky helped me write a speech for my senior English class because I was so far behind after not doing any homework all year, and I desperately needed a good grade on this speech in order to graduate. The speech was on the band Led Zeppelin, of course. I think it's worth pointing out the insane irony that here I am now giving you this speech that I wrote all by myself. Thanks, Mrs. Tate. I think it's safe to say it all worked out. I wasn't an athlete, so the band and drama kids were my team. 
I love that. I made strong friendships with those folks that I still have to this day. See, when you make art with people on stage, either uh, doing theater, doing music, you're really putting it all on the line, man. It's dangerous, it's scary, and it's so exciting, and it creates a real bond. And for me, it really fostered meaningful relationships. Having those experiences here in high school really laid the groundwork for how I live my life and the importance I put on friendships. Maybe the high school experience for me that best showed this was pep club. I was a pep club officer along with three friends my senior year, and we had an idea. Let's all try to get elected together, and let's just entertain people and make them laugh. All of them. Be entertaining to everyone, and not just this group or that group, and not just our group of friends. It was ridiculous. We did some of the dumbest things ever. Uh, and I'm amazed we got away with them, but it worked. Those three guys are some of my best friends to this day. And tonight, one of them is even here. Tyson Burnt. I love you, brother. That's Tyson's mom. <clears throat> I graduated from North, yes, I did graduate, barely, and the performing arts continued. I briefly attended KU on a small jazz scholarship, I played in rock bands, I worked at an improv comedy club here in Kansas City called Comedy Sports. All of this continued to create and solidify these meaningful relationships through these awesome experiences. I was more or less making a living playing in bands and had some minor commercial success in the music biz, but I did some cool things. I played all over the world, and most importantly, I made some great music with my friends. Then in 2005, everything got a little crazy. I was 28 years old, and after a ton of tests, my doctors found that I had a big tumor in my left ankle. It was a type of cancer called Ewing's sarcoma. I did not want cancer. This was scary news, to say the least. I quickly began chemotherapy, and I was immediately living a very different life. The whole process was about a year long, but in the middle of that year, it was determined that in order to save my life, my left leg needed to be amputated right above the knee. I really didn't want that to happen. But I kind of felt like I knew it was gonna happen all along, and it was really the one thing I was worried about, even more than dying. My first thoughts were just, what do I have to do to get through this? I knew there were plenty of people who seemed to walk fine with prosthetic legs, and I'd even kind of worked out the mechanics in my head of how I'd be able to play drums again. So people often ask me how I got through that, and I'll say the main thing, God. 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 100%. But I'll tell you a story that I feel also answers that question well. So, so I was in the hospital for two days before the surgery to move, remove my leg, and then I was there for about another week after that. And I gotta say, pretty much the whole time I was in the hospital, uh, in my room, it was a party. So many friends were there to see me, friends that lived in Kansas City, friends that flew into KC just to visit, friends that flew in and surprised me, friends that slept there in the room with me. I feel like that week, either in person or on the phone, almost everyone I'd ever known reached out to me. And what those friends did was they took the worst time in my life and turned it into the most beautiful time in my life. So now, August 4th, 2005 is a happy memory and a day that I celebrate each year. That is how I got through all of that. I started learning to walk again with a prosthetic leg in October of that year. About the same time, I met a sweet, funny, mega hot blonde at church. You can meet girls at church, <clears throat> and dudes. Shortly thereafter, we started dating and quickly fell in love. And here's the deal, guys. At that point in my life, I did not look good. I was a tough sell as a 28-year-old single guy. No hair, gray skin, super skinny, and you know, one leg. But she fell in love with me in spite of all that. I'm happy to say that next month, we'll celebrate our 10-year wedding anniversary. Thank you, baby. So, at this point in the story, we're back to uh, December, early December 2005. I was out of chemo, and that felt like being released from prison. And right before Christmas, I played my first show back after losing the leg and beating cancer. Fittingly enough, a three-hour Led Zeppelin tribute concert. 
The club was packed full of friends and family. And then a few months later, I was back on the road touring with my original rock band. Soon later, I learned that my health insurance would only pay half of the new prosthetic leg that I needed. And then I needed to somehow come up with $30,000. Well, some friends organized a huge fundraiser for me and we raised $40,000 in one night. And yet again, it was like everyone I ever met got in touch and helped me out. In 2009, my wife and I moved to Nashville, Tennessee to further our work in the music business. It was starting over pretty much, but we made some great friends and on a good month, I actually made a living playing music. Then at the beginning of 2013, after many years of thinking I wouldn't be able to have children due to the chemotherapy, my wife and I welcomed our first child, a beautiful baby boy we named Leo. This changed everything again and created a whole new, most beautiful time in my life. More beautiful than I ever could have imagined. I quickly began trying to find a new job, one that would allow me to not travel so much so I could be home with my family. My prosthetic doctor asked me to talk to a new patient of his who had just lost his leg to cancer and was being fit for a new prosthetic leg. I talked to him that day about how it gets better and how you can't lose hope. And I left there thanking God for the opportunity to speak that language of hope to that guy, to be able to say, I know what you're going through. I got home to my wife and I told her that I wish that could be my job. The next day, I told my prosthetist the same thing. And he introduced me to the owner of the prosthetic company who'd been trying for years to get a nonprofit off the ground that would help get prosthetic limbs for people who couldn't afford them, help people get back on their feet and regain their lives. He asked if I would like to build and run this nonprofit. What? Yes, 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 I could do that. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm very thankful to say that Steps of Faith Foundation just celebrated our four-year anniversary, and in that short time, we've helped over 100 people regain their freedom of mobility. We'll help 52 folks this year. That's one a week. So do you see a connection in all these stories? Friends. It's all about friends. And showing up and caring for one another through all the stuff good and bad. I've learned that my thing is people. I love connecting with people. It's one of the things I've loved most about music and acting. It's a team sport. I'm a collaborator by nature. Friendship, building relationships. It's what I've always done in my life naturally, not even realizing it's a thing. And now I get to do it for my job. And I'll say this job is even better now that I'm living back in Kansas City. So search for meaning. Search for things that have meaning and create meaningful relationships. I'm not talking about a thousand social media followers or likes. I'm talking about real, honest, transparent relationships. That is where true happiness lies. Bad days will come with the good and it's those friends that will help you through. And here's the deal. Some of you may think that you don't have good friends. Well, you need to look around you because you do. There are people in this stadium tonight who are here because of you and are cheering you on, every single one of you. This life is beautiful and it's about connecting with people. We're made for connection. We are here for connection. We're put on this planet to help each other. Do not forget that. Do not give up. People love you and people want to help you. Make friends and keep them. Thank you and congrats to the class of 2017. Thank you, what a fantastic, fantastic message for all of us. Seniors, are you ready? Are you ready? All right. <laughs> This evening's role readers are Catherine Beckley, Aidan Bellhu, Aaron Grohowski, Magdalene Hendricks, Alex Leslie, Gabby Oakman, Aloma Obi, Tessa Potterben, Katana Ratanavong, Sam Thompson, and Natalie Turner. USD number 512, Board of Education members, 
The students here this evening have passed all requirements for graduation according to the laws of the state of Kansas and the Board of Education of the Shawnee Mission School District. It is my honor to present them to you for the presentation of their diplomas. On behalf of the Shawnee Mission Board of Education, I accept the recommendation by the staff and administration of Shawnee Mission North High School. Furthermore, I acknowledge that each of these students has fulfilled all of the course requirements for graduation. At this time, I ask that the Shawnee Mission North Class of 2017 present themselves for the presentation of diplomas. Congratulations to each of you. Cameron Page Alvers. Xavier Dante Allen. Pedro Costa de Amarim. Ashley Aranda. Aaron Arias. Ali Elaine Arnett. Cadence Paige Ashlock. Bailey Ray Baker. Brittany Joe Ballas. Joseph Allen Baldwin. Colin Austin Banks. Carolina Burras. Juana Berlin Bergen Jimez. Erica Ann Basin. Catherine Ann Beckley. Aiden Alamayo Bellahu. Christopher Bell. Daisy Bobbitt. Dominic Chance Bogut. Harrison William Bolt. Aiden B. Boast. Sarah Elizabeth Voice. Danny DeWitt Bradley Jr. Evan Carl Brandt. Dayon Kyrie Brooks. Cameron Allen Brown. Madison Nicole Brown. Jasmine Devon Birch. Kara Danielle Birch. Mateus Wendell Burns. Aiden Laurel Butler Oursler. Jasmine Nichelle Caldwell. Don Benjamin Ray Calkins. Eric Eugene Campbell. Jasmine J. 
Janae Carter. Victoria Gabriella Castro. Celine Tanya Cisneros. Audrey Grace Cobbs. Jennifer Megan Cole. Morgan Elizabeth LaFay Cole. Robert Daniel Collins. Bryce Richard Conley. Emily Nicole Cooper. Joseph Corbett. Alyssa Brianna Cornish. Julia Maria Cormac Madrano. Jameer A. Crawford Williams. Michael Wayne Cunningham. David Dean Curtis II. Brogan Zane Dolan. Logan Paul Decker. Francisco Delgado Gill. Brandon Christopher Everett Denman. Cassandra Ann Diebold. Nancy Dinfon. Blake Aiden Dirks. Ting Don. Jackson Charles Draculich. Jacob Ian Drum. Claudia Selene Duarte. Destiny Dela Dole. Evan Michael Duvenel. Nicholas Michael Eaton. Abigail Florence Ecord. Bailey Clath Catherine Edmonds. Mackenzie Denise Eisenbraun. Marissa Shannon Larie Elliott. Sydney Elaine Enlow. Deacon Seth Falkeen. Jennifer Flores. Rania Nabil Fuad. Litea Marie Frazier. Ethan William Frisbee. David Gabaldon. Clarita Inayi Garcia. Diana Angelina Garcia. 
Jordan Andrew Garcia. Marcos Andres Garcia. Moraima Garcia. Brooklyn Marie Gomez. Cynthia Stephanie Gonzalez Colindres. Jasmine Isabella Gonzalez. Gabriela Guadalupe Goodman. Kimberly Carol Gordon. Anthony Michael Gower. Wyatt Michael Gray. Willow Barbara Jean Gregory. Aaron Marie Grohusky. Ian Joseph Grohusky. Emily Godino. Oscar Guillen. Sebastian Alberto Gazzato. Alyssa Esther Gutierrez. Antonio Ricardo Gutierrez. Melissa Gutierrez Perez. Angel Alexis Guzman. Trayvon Deshaun Hall. Marissa Kylie Hansett. Tyra Martine Hanurin. Kaylee Madison Harder. Jared Peter Hathaway. Eric Brandon Haynes. Austin D. Helton. Magdalene Elaine Hendricks. Travis James Hensley. Alicia Nicole Hernandez. Carlitos Ramon Hernandez. Giselle Hernandez. Jason Anthony Hernandez. Abdil E. Herrera. Tommy Mitchell Herrera. Carly Hope Hofler. Emma Jane Hoffman. Logan Gail Hollister. 
Richard Stephen Honus. Brianna Lynn Honeycutt. Samantha Lee Hoops. Peter J. Hubinet. Alistair Anton Christian Hughes. Jacob Robert Hughes. Olivia Maureen Huntsman. Trinity Jane Ingram. Jonathan Eli Iterbide. Carter Joseph Jacobson. Mark Daniel James. Robert William Johnson. Alexis Shaylin Jones. Taya Deshawn Josenberger. Luke Thomas Kasunik. Muriel Ardis Kelly. Colin Marcello King. Fritz Gentry Senege Kiddick. Chase James Kleinsaucer. Kyla Marie Klein. Olivia Camille Naff. Alyssa Ray Knight. V Valeria Ignorvona Laber. Anna Jade Lalamandir. Logan Timothy Landes. Natalie Faye Landman. Faith Mari Larson. Morgan Elizabeth Latham. Ruben Esteban Leon. Lila Kate Leonard. Alexander Colin Leslie. Brianna Gracie Lylan. Claudia Maria Inez Lopez Sagastume. Okay. Vanessa Michelle Mancha. Marissa Lauren Martinez. James Robert Masterson. Griffin O'Neill Matney. Cheyenne Dawn Maxwell. Sanders Jonathan McClure. Taya Mari. McCorkle. Caleb 
Scott McDonald. Erica Mercedes McGee. Sydney Grace Meter. Justice Michelle Merriman. Filiberto Meza. Isabel Alyssa Meza. Sarah Milani. Abigail Diane Molina. Olivia Jane Monroe. Derek Stephen Moots. Crescenso Essa Moreno. Ryan Charles Morgan. Tamoris Brendan Lee Morgan. Taylor Marie Morrison. Marquan Dayon Morrow. Jacob Lee Lawrence Moyer. Ian Robert Caton Mole. Russell Allen Myers. Lauren Numer. Elijah Michael Nevins. Amanda Murphy. Audra Elise Nichols. Samuel Young Nickham. Mackenzie Nicole Nimmo. Mikey Taylor Odell. Gabrielle Jean Oakman. Aloma Favor Obi. Madison Elaine Oler. Mariana Andrena Arego. Ariana Maritza Padilla Lugo. Eli Benjamin Peach. Corey David Pennington. Alejandra Perez. Ivan Perez. Noah Williams Ferris. Sandy Pomachan. Callie Yvonne Pierce. Brianna Nicole Pingleton. Zachary Earl Pittman. Tessa Ann Potterbin. Daniel Joseph Pressler. Jonathan Tyler Preston. Okay, cool. 
Haven Michelle Price. Justin Albert DuPont Price. Joshua Probst. Colin Leroy Reigns. Isabella Maria Ramirez. Liliana Ramos. Ahmed Rashad. Kitana Teptida Ratanavong. Emily Jane Redpath. Amber Diane Reed. Angelica Renee Renfro. Brendan Hefata Rennick. Vanessa Sierra Reyes Black. Benjamin Davis Richards. Alexandra Rios. Joshua Carl Roach. Amaris Nicole Roberts. Tiffany Elizabeth Roberts. Aliyah Marie Robertson. Cameron Danae Robertson. Gustavo Rocha. Isabel Rodriguez. Jose Adriel Rodriguez. Darian Brianna Rogers. Deja Marie Rogers. Misael Rojas. Haciel Rojas Herrera. Catherine Alexandra Rosas. Trinity Elizabeth Rosberg. Michaela Joe Rosanella. Tanisha Ray Rucker. Miguel Quintero Ruiz. Carlos Alexis San Juan. Arturo Sanchez Vera. Charles Jefferson Sanchez. Jeremy Sanchez. Peyton Vaughn Sanders. Morgan Marie Sands. Samuel William Sanum. Alyssa Marie Sands. Catherine Michelle Sarmiento. Taylor Dion Sasser. Nathaniel Andre Sosedo. Peyton Daniel Schaefer. 
Will Martin Schneider. Samuel Moshe Schwartz. Alyssa Carol Ann Sekar. Livia Christine Sagali. Isaiah Luke Schaub. Rachel Evelyn Jane Sixta. Jacqueline Marie Skidmore. Alexandria J. Smith. Alyssa Nicole Smith. Karina Nicole Smith. Christopher Jordan Smith. Lucas William Smith. Katie Marie Snegus. Jason Facondo Solis Roca. Victoria Sosa Meza. Taisha Simone Sodders. Tiana Lutherisa Arroyo Stacker. Taylor Stackley. Paige Elizabeth Stanley. Colby Russell Steck. Shelby Margaret Steck. Lexi Ray Steven. Caitlin Shay Styers. Aaliyah Ray Stutzman. Lauren Ayana Sylvester. Zant Austin Tabafry. Von Chi Tam. Samuel Lee Thompson. Sienna Lachelle Toombs. Dylan Scott Torello. Wynn Touch. Dalton Vesper Allen Torojas. Lauren Michelle Tressinger. Natalie Ann Turner. Lisbeth Priscilla Ureña. Maria, Mariana Nanetson Valle Rosales. Derek Lane Van Thelenar. Quinton Teague Van Boeven. Karen Elizabeth Vargas. Alyssa Marie Vela. David Andrew Velasquez. Daniel Velez Padilla. Caden Zachary Vernard. Colin Joseph Vera. Lisbeth Villanueva Artero. Madeline Nicole Waldack. Tatiana Danae Walker. Brett 
A. Walters. Lena Shun Wong. Jonathan Blake Wonkum. Carter Ray Warren. Mia Isabella Watkins. Donovan Robert West. Rebecca Grace Westermeyer. Ethan Ryan Wettstein. Angel Marie Whistler. Bronte Penny Royale Whitehorse. Hannah Jane Whitney. Mark Allen Widmer. Isabel Michaela Wigglesworth. Mitchell Allen Wilkie. Avante Delon Williams. Darion Lachey Williams. Jordan Philip Williams. Kale Alexander Williams. Timothy Walker Williamson. Eden Cassandra Siobhan Wolf. Ryan Jordan Wood. Shannon Lynn Ray. Travis Reese Wonderland. Alicia Ann Young. Braulio Jesus Zarate. Jennifer Stephanie Zarate Clemente. Peyton Lloyd Ziff. Andre Lorenzo Zolator. With the senior choir singers, please make their way to the risers at this time. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we invite all family members to join the graduates on the field for pictures and congratulatory hugs. At this time, we ask that you stand to join the senior choir members in singing the school song.
Class of 2017, I want to thank each of you for your contributions, dedication, and hard work over the past four years. Your commitment to learning to your highest potential has and will serve you well as you take the next step in your journey. We hope that you look back at your time at the Brick House with fond memories and that you will always remember it's great to be an SMN Indian. Graduates, you may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Class of 2017, I now declare you graduates of Shawnee Mission North High School.